Okay, we're going to make this video for um, a couple people that want to know how to make candy from homemade. This is what you need. You need uh, light corn syrup, two-thirds or three-quarters of a cup light corn syrup, one cup of water, two cups of sugar, whatever flavor you want. We're using peppermint today, a little food coloring. Half a teaspoon measuring cup, a metal spoon to stir the sugar with because if it gets so hot that it will melt plastic. So do not try to use plastic. A thermometer that will go to at least 300 degrees. A little bit of non-stick spray. A decent pot, fairly heavy. A cookie sheet and pizza cutter. A pair of scissors. And pizza cutter, pair of scissors. I use a muffin pan because it gets this pan up off the surface because this stuff is so hot it'll burn your countertops or burn your table so I sit it on this just to keep it up off of stuff and then a sheet to actually put your candy on as you cut it and drop it on let it cool. This is pretty much it. It's really easy. It's really simple. Um, just put your water in your pan Put your sugar in your pan and then add your corn syrup and turn it on about medium heat. You want to heat it kind of slow and dissolve all the sugar. Once the sugar is completely dissolved and then we'll turn the video back on and we'll go from there. But just go slow. Make sure you stir it constantly. You don't want it to completely boil until after your sugar is completely dissolved. Okay, once you get your sugar cured and dissolved good, increase your heat to high, as high as you can get your stove to go. Watch your temperature. It needs to be 300 degrees. If it goes over 300, it will burn the sugar like rapidly fast. So you want to bring it up to 300. As soon as you reach 300, you'll pull it off. Now when it gets close to 300, I want you to put just a couple drops of food coloring into it. Do not stir it. Whatever you do, do not stir the sugar. Just let the sugar bubbling mix it in, mix the coloring in good. You want to bring it up to exactly 300. Don't go over. Be very careful on this part. This is the part that matters. And once you get it up to temperature, it usually takes five or ten minutes. And I'm not going to waste video time on watching something boil. But once you get it up, to 300 degrees that's when you'll stop it okay now you've got your sugar your syrup and your water boiling you've had it boiling now i think about 10 minutes make sure you don't touch the bottom with your thermometer you just want it into the sugar and i'm running about 280 degrees getting real close so now what i want to do is add my food coloring. Now when you do this, be very careful and only add two drops, no more than two. It doesn't seem like much, but it will, uh, if you add too much, your, your candy won't harden. Continue watching your temperature till you hit 300. All right, we're at 300, shut it off. Take it off your heat. Add one half of a teaspoon. It's one half teaspoon of flavoring. Now some flavors are stronger than others, so you may have to add a little bit more. You just kind of have to play with it. Now this is the only time you stir it. You lightly stir it in. Now this is peppermint, and I'll tell you right now, it's burning the hell out of my eyes. Just ease it in. You don't want to stir it hard. And if you got any sugar built up on the outsides, now's a good time to get it off. Rub it in gently. Make sure it's thorough. Now, at this point, you move on to the next part, which is the part the kids like. Just take, pour it out on your hot on your cold pan. Spread it out thin and even. Okay, now, <laughs> I advise 
quickly putting this in hot water. <clears throat> now just let that sit for a minute. It takes it a couple minutes to cool. You'll know when it begins to cool because it kind of glazes over and you could be able to touch it. Right now if you touch it, it'll just burn the fire out of you. Just let that sit for a couple minutes and keep an eye on it. Okay, it's sit here for now for a couple minutes. And as you can see, it's still runny if you lean the pan. But it's beginning to, to stiffen. You can touch it. It's real hot, but you can still touch it. And it's pliable. At this point, you can do whatever you want. Um, if you're really brave, you can cook two different flavors at the same time. Cut them in half at this point. And you can roll them together. And that's how you get the stripes in regular peppermints. <clears throat> Now, we're going to let this cool just a little bit more because, as you can see, it's still a little too sticky to handle and too soft. So we're going to wait just a couple more minutes, and then we'll, we'll go to the cutting it. Okay, now we're starting to get a little stiffer. I like to push it away from the edges of the pan. Makes the candy a little thicker. Just a little bit easier to work with. This is still a little hot because it won't hold its shape, but if you wait too long, there's a fine window to not making candy at all and having just one big ass chunk of candy at which point you're having a whole lot of choice except to just break it into chunks if you wait too long so I'm trying to really watch it closely as you can see it's pooling back out which means the middle is still pretty hot so I'm just going to try to keep it shape and keep it away from the edges make it easier to cut now, as you can see, this end's getting kind of stiff. We're just going to keep working it and spend a few minutes letting it cool a little bit more. Okay, it's still a little hot on this end, but as you can see, this end here is starting to get stiff. So we're going to go ahead and start working it while it cools. Now, the easiest way I found to do this is to take a pizza cutter and simply roll it out, cut it, pick that piece up now this is still kind of hot but just take your scissors and cut it into chunks spreading them out so they don't stick together and then as you get another cool spot good and stiff keep pushing it back together that's still a little bit too stiff too warm. This side here is getting a little stiff, so we'll go ahead and take some of this. It's kind of a pain in the butt sometimes to cut it. If it's still a little work, whatever you can reach. And again, you can make this as thick or as thin as you want to. Once it starts hardening, it moves kind of fast, so you have to stay on it and stay moving. Try to keep your pieces off each other because until they cool, they, uh, they will glue themselves back together. Now, just kind of shove them to the side. It don't take but a minute or two for them to cool. Find your next uh, solid spot here. And it's still a little bit soft, but in the interest of time, I'm going to go ahead. Now, hold the weight up. If you want it thin, you stretch it. If you want it thicker, bunch it up more. Just keep doing this until you got all your candy cut up. And work it slow and easy until you get through the whole batch. Alright, there it is. It's done. Don't put it in the refrigerator. And if you feel it, it's kind of oily where you put the nostril spray in the pan. Do it however you want to at this point but I put just a little bit and I do mean a little bit of confectioner sugar in a bag and just pour it in shake it up and then stick it in the jar and that's it you're done <laughs>